Because of course this weekend is the Capital One Cup final, Chelsea against Tottenham. It's often described as a toxic fixture and that is one where the, the racist element and, and the, the chanting and the use of the Y word is, is particularly relevant. Is it something that worries you? We've already seen uh, over the last 24 hours West Ham fans, Tottenham fans engaged in, uh, in, in what, what is called the usual racist banter. It's very much in the form of anti-Semitism and a number of complaints already received by us. Social media have been right with abuse uh, overnight. Uh, the police are investigating. British Transport Police are also involved because there were incidents on trains taking West Ham fans to uh, Spurs. Uh, and clearly we want to see all the authorities come together to be prepared for Sunday's game at Wembley to swamp the place with security and police, to root out those who are coming and looking for trouble, to be on those trains and stop the chanting, and to make sure that we're going to rid football of that element. It is a game in which always we receive large number of complaints from Jewish people that they've been offended by the chanting, from both sides, because they're equally offended by the songs that Spurs fans sing. We understand why they sing it, and we, we, we try as best as we can to respect the need for people to to, to, to big up their, themselves in their pride having regard to the injustices they feel they've encountered in society. But there are many other Jewish people who feel that word is reprehensible uh, and they don't want to hear it. And so we're caught uh, in between of trying to educate fans about the sensitivity they must apply because it is offensive to others. Uh, we're equally trying to encourage opposing fans not to respond in an abusive way. It's hard and uphill, but we've got to keep trying. And I understand uh, Kick It Out will be releasing a statement today after the West Ham incident. Uh, can you give a, a flavour of what that's about? Well, it, it reflects a lot of what I've said already, that we've got uh, complaints, they're being investigated, the British Transport Police uh, are, are onto it, the Metropolitan Police are onto it, uh, West Ham themselves are onto it, and they, they issued statements before the game, and they will, are following up because they're a club uh, who accepts responsibility for the behaviour of their fans as well. And um, we want to put this in a wider context that it's not just West Ham and Spurs, it's not just Chelsea and Spurs, it's what we've got to do, all of us, in football to tackle these problems. Uh, Anti-Semitism is one part of it, racism is another part, there's homophobia, there's anti-Islam and there's sexism. And all of us have got to come together. It's not just a West Ham problem, a Chelsea problem, a Spurs problem. It's a football problem. It's for the Premier League, they may say, nothing to do with us. It's for the Football League. Uh, it's for the FA. It's for the LMA. It's for the PFA. It's for the supporters organisation. We're all in this together. The old famous phrase of the Prime Minister, etc. Well, this is how it really applies. If football is going to tackle this, everyone in football has got to tackle it. But it's also a society problem, and we've got to get the whole of society coming together on this.